Hallelujah. Uh, this morning, I want to revisit a text I shared with you some time ago. And for some of you, it will be a reminder. For some of you, it will be revelation. And for others, it will be a moment for you to restart. Yes. All right. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Look with me this morning. It's the book, 2 Corinthians, on chapter 4. Notice, notice, notice the verses 7 and 8. 2 Corinthians, uh, chapter 4, verses 7 and verse 8. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled. Somebody shout troubled. Troubled. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. And from those two verses this morning, I want to talk about it ain't over. It ain't over. <laughs> Doesn't matter how it looks, it ain't over. How dark it is, how painful it is, it ain't over. In our text today, we hear Paul saying in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 7, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. It is a statement of victory. And uh, it has sister verses like 1 John 4 and 4 which read ye are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in ye than he that is of the word uh, Philippians chapter 4 Verse number 13, which says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. If you have lived long enough to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, then you know that life is not always fair. So true. You have discovered that bad things happen good people. So true, so true. Sometimes Christians fight personal battles in their marriage. Sometimes Christians fight uh, in their mind, in their flesh, uh, their appetites. Uh, but the Apostle Paul says, I have been, I have been troubled 
matter who you are or how spiritual you are, at some point in life, uh, you will discover that life is going to deal you a blow. Don't take no 
Mais 